So for the next several years, at least, the way we're thinking of the Zappos brand is internally we refer to it as the three C's, uh, clothing, customer service, and culture. And this is essentially based on the life cycle of the customer. So customers that have never heard of Zappos have no idea what we do. Uh, we want them to know that we have a great selection of clothing and footwear and other product categories. Once they know about that, then we want them to know that we're all about the very best customer service. And that's not something that so much we tell them as they experience when they call our call center or experience that surprise upgrade to overnight shipping or see how easy the free return shipping is. And once they know that we're all about the very best customer service, then we want them to know about our culture and our core values because that's really the platform that makes everything possible. So we've actually had customers tell us that when they get that perfect pair of shoes or perfect outfit, that Zappos is happiness in a box. So whether it's the happiness that employees, that, that customers feel when they get that perfect outfit, or the happiness that customers feel when they experience great service or have a great customer experience, or the happiness that employees feel from being part of a culture where the core values of the company match their own personal values, the thing that really ties all of these things together that we realize is that Zappos is really just about delivering happiness, whether it's to customers or employees, and we apply that same philosophy to vendors as well, and so hence the title of uh, my book that just came out. So I wanted to talk about two uh, books. When, when you come on the tour, you'll, first thing you see in our lobby is the Zappos Library. We have about 30 or 40 titles there. And it's uh, not a lending library, it's actually a giving library. The books are freely available to employees and to visitors alike. But two of the titles that we really, uh, really, that I, and also I personally really like, are Good to Great uh, by Jim Collins and Tribal Leadership. And in fact, we partnered with the authors of Tribal Leadership to the audio version is actually available for free to download from the Zappos website. And in fact, we even teach classes on both of these books at Zappos. And the reason why I find both of these books interesting is because the authors did their research and looked at what separated the great companies in terms of long-term financial performance from just the good ones. And they found that there were two important ingredients that the great companies had that the good ones or medio mediocre ones generally didn't have. And, and they were actually surprised by what, the, what they found through the research. And the first ingredient that they found the great companies had was uh, they all had very strong cultures. And so we formalized the definition of our culture into 10 core values. And the difference is, you know, a lot of, especially larger corporations have, they might call them core values or guiding principles or, uh, or so on. The problem is usually they're very lofty sounding. They kind of read like a press release that the marketing department put out. And maybe you learn about it on day one of orientation and then it becomes this meaningless plaque on the lobby wall. For us, we actually wanted to come up with committable core values. And by committable, we mean we're willing to hire or fire people based on them independent of their actual job performance. And when you use that criteria, it's actually a pretty hard list to come up with. And we actually spent a year coming up with it. It wasn't just a few high-level executives spent a weekend at an offsite and came up with the list. Uh, instead, this was about five years ago, I emailed the entire company and just asked them, what should our core values be? Got a whole bunch of different responses back, and then we went back and forth for a year, and then finally came up with our list of 10 core values. So this is our list of 10. Uh, you can actually, if you do a Google search for Zappos core values, you, it should be the first thing that pops up. The other actually interesting litmus test for when we were trying to come up with our core values, and in general uh, to, to think about for any company that's thinking of core values, is if you do a Google search for any one of these individual core values, on almost all of them, Zappos is the number one result or, or on the uh, first page. And for almost any other companies, uh, if you search for their core values, they're nowhere to be found if you search for them one at a time. So we actually have interview questions for each and every one of these. Probably the one that trips us up the most in the hiring process is the last one, be humble, because there's a lot of really smart, talented people out there that are also egotistical. And for us, it's just not a question. We just won't hire them. But it's one of those things that is actually uh, probably the hardest to have an interview question for, because you can't say, how humble are you? And they say, I'm the most humble person in the world. <laughs> um, but one way we actually test for this is, um, you know, I talked about how 
we'll pick you up in, from the airport in a Zappos shuttle and give you a tour. Well, for candidates, a lot of them are from out of town. Do the same thing, pick, pick them up in a Zappos shuttle, give them a tour, and then afterwards, they'll spend the day interviewing. At the end of the day of interviews, the recruiter will actually go back to the shuttle driver and ask how he or she was treated. And if they weren't treated well, it's not even a question. It doesn't matter how well the day of the interviews went, we won't hire that person. Uh, and so number three, I'll give some examples. Create fun and a little weirdness. One of our interview questions is, on a scale one to 10, how weird are you? And uh, you know, if you're one, you might be a little bit too straight-laced for the Zappos culture. 10, maybe a little bit too psychotic for us. <laughs> um, but really, it's not so much the number that we care about. It's uh, how they answer, because our belief is that everyone is a little weird somehow. And this is really more just a fun way of saying that we really recognize and celebrate each person's individuality. And we want their true personalities to come out and shine in the workplace. You know, there's so many people where they're a different person uh, in, at home on weekends versus when they're inside the office and p people in corporate America leave a little bit of themselves or in a lot of cases a big part of themselves at home. And we really strive to create an environment where people are just comfortable being themselves. So instead of worrying about work-life separation, it's about work-life integration where it's just the same person. And uh, you know, not only are you comfortable being yourself, but when you connect with your coworkers, it's not just coworker relationships, but true friendships that end up forming where you would choose to hang out with these people even if you weren't working at the same company together. And so, for example, for managers, we actually s encourage them to spend 10 to 20% of their time outside the office uh, with their team and whoever they work with. And initially, uh, you know, the reaction we get back, especially from people from other companies, is, well, you know, is, that sounds fun, but is it really working? Uh, it, I, there's an endless list of things to do. But then we go back and survey the managers that have done it. And we ask them, how much more productive and efficient is your team? Because uh, communication is better. There's higher levels of trust. People are willing to do favors for each other because they're doing favors for friends, not just coworkers. And the answers we get back in terms of increased productivity range anywhere from 20% to 100% more productive. So kind of worst case scenario, you're breaking even and having more fun with it.